Kyle Jeopardy today dealing with 20th century presidential candidates. Two coming up. Well, I think this is the third consecutive teachers tournament where the outcome has been a foregone conclusion before the ultimate final Jeopardy. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. And it looks like the outcome for second place is also a foregone conclusion if my math is right. No, actually, well, yep, actually. Just by a nose. The very wager is zero. She's going to have... Uh, 8,800 today, 4,600, that's 13,4. And Jill, she doubles up, can only get to 13,2. So, Kaberi wagers zero, Jason wagers zero, he can have 43,401 without doing anything. In fact, I think if he wagers everything, 17,6, yeah, he can wager everything and still win doesn't really matter either way because he has this one uh, $100,000 locked up so he can't improve on that and neither can compare your Jill. Uh, Jason was just dominating that buzzer especially in the first round building up a huge lead and that can be really disheartening if you're playing against someone who's very good at that. I use that to good effect in a lot of my games and uh, just seeing some of the anguished looks on the opponent's faces, you can tell how tough it is. And you know a lot of those clues if you're up there on stage, especially if you're in the final of the tournament, in such a well-played tournament this has been. Uh, so we'll see Jason back in the next Tournament of Champions. He will be a, a, a tough uh, force to be reckoned with. I liked the uh, interview segments about everyone showing... Uh, how much they cared about people who had done great things for them and who had helped them along the way. And uh, Jill with a shout out to debate, which I think is a hugely crucial skill. I mean, why do you think I stand up here talking to a camera five times a week? It helps me think on my feet and talk about things. And sometimes I have to pause, but that's something you learn to do when you're learning how to speak properly in front of other people. Of course, I never did the type of debate where I just kind of rattle things off and, oh, but see, I can't even talk that fast. I would never make a good auctioneer. You know, from Vermont, I mean, you get some good auctioneers up there. That's all you do on a Friday night is go to the auction at the barn. Uh, <laughs> not really thinking on my feet now, but uh, speaking of the interviews, I liked how Jason milked the home crowd there. That's always a, a good move when you're on the road to say, hey, I'm from here, I spent some time here, you should cheer for me, and he did get a round of applause for that. Uh, at Yale, I had a bunch of people <clears throat> who were visiting from Middlebury, which is only a four and a half hour driving only. I'm so thankful that all of them came down and had a big crew, and uh, they managed to turn the Yaleys to their side after Robbie Shrum got knocked out in the semifinals. Alright, let's play. Oh yeah, and the other thing is, today we are dealing with 20th century presidential I'll say, I'll say. candidates, and the players have to deal with this clue. He was awarded a DFC in World War II for a combat mission as pilot of the B-24 bomber he named the Dakota Queen. You have 30 seconds, players. Good luck. DFC, Distinguished Flying Cross, was well, Dole is injured in World War II, and that's why he couldn't shake his right hand, and that's why when he and Clinton had to debate, they had to shake left hands. Um, who were we just talking about? Who was just a clue last night? North Dakota, uh, McGovern. Do I want to switch, though? You know what? I'm going to switch it. Just because McGovern was from North Dakota, so. You didn't do so well today. You wound up with sixteen hundred dollars, and you said, "Who is Bob Doe?" And that, unfortunately, is wrong. <sighs> All right, I made the right choice. I think. Zero for today, but yesterday you had earned ten thousand dollars, and that will be your two-day total as we go to Kaberi. She had eighty-eight hundred today. What did she put down as her response? Who is Bob Doe? Also. It's going to cost you how much? Good wager. Okay. All right. So you got to do. 8,800 plus what you had yesterday 
4,600 takes you up to 13,400. Jason could not be caught today. He had 20,800. Who is <laughs> who fixed my tie? Lifesaver. Lifesaver? Yeah, fixed my tie. And so was the correct response of George McGovern. Wow. And so it's going to cost you anything? Nothing? 20,800 today. Uh, Yesterday, 43,000. Ooh, very sparkly. Charles better get a little cut of that. Jason's looking good in that tie. Oh, why doesn't he get to come out and shake hands? All right, so I got to admit, I had a little leg up on this one because uh, at Bar Trivia earlier this week, there was a uh, category all about the Dakotas, and one of the questions was who was the only presidential candidate from North Dakota who only won Massachusetts? Or that's two different parts. Who was the only presidential candidate from North Dakota? And hint, he only won Massachusetts. Earlier that... Even earlier this week, there was a millionaire question about <clears throat> a 1974 bumper sticker that was very popular that said, don't blame me, I'm from Massachusetts. So you knew it's from 1972 election, and then from there we were able to figure out it was McGovern, but I wouldn't have been able to figure that out in that amount of time. Just got, excuse me, just got very lucky there. Uh, and crucial last second switch, but I, I would not be able to do that on stage, I'll tell you that much. Uh, the other thing I want to mention was uh, <clears throat> once you saw TV category come up, episode titles, you knew Breaking Bad had to be in there somewhere. The writer loved Breaking Bad. You might as well just watch the series, even if when you're one of the two people who don't think it's one of the best shows ever made, at least watch it for getting into Jeopardy writers' heads. That's all I got for tonight. Congrats again to Jason. Congrats to Kaveri and Jill as well. Great tournament, and uh, I guess it's time for me to <laughs> watch some power players do their thing. So we'll see you Monday right here on the final wager.